Hi, I'm Mitch Kaufman, National Sales Manager for Town Food Service here in Brooklyn, New York. Today, I am proud to present to you the Town Master Range Chinese Smokehouse. The unit is simple and offers no complicated components. There is an analog thermostat and a large burner on the bottom of the unit with a water pan above. It comes with a safety pilot system that prevents dangerous gas buildup in the event of a pilot blowout. The unit also contains strategically placed drip shields that catch and vaporize the grease, enhancing the flavor of your food. If you like, there's an optional chip box that will add to the smoking flavor. The units are certified for indoor commercial use in the United States and Canada and town offers a one-year limited warranty. The town master range Chinese smokehouse comes in three different widths, either 24 inch, 30 or 36 inch. You have a choice of having the door hinge either on the left hand side or the right. It's double wall insulated. The exterior could be either stainless steel or galvanized. They come in either natural gas or propane. They can also be converted in the field with the purchase of a couple of parts. This particular model has a right-handed door hinge. It's the 30 inch unit and it's all stainless steel exterior. The only utility hookup is gas, but a nearby water source is needed. If using propane in the unit is connected directly to a tank, a first stage line regulator is required. An appliance gas pressure regulator is pre-installed within the unit, but a first stage line regulator is not included. Please consult with the licensed gas plumber installed in the unit to source the first stage line regulator. The unit is designed and listed for indoor commercial use underneath a hood system. Each unit comes with a six inch flue on the top and any other venting related components must be obtained by an outside source. The town Chinese smokehouse is quite versatile. Although primarily designed as an Asian pork roaster, the unit blends Asian and Western cooking techniques as well as appealing to many other types of cuisines. The unit comes with six skewers. As you can see, I placed three here and it can go on two different levels. If you prefer to hang your food on these very skewers, Town offers a large selection of hooks. For applications requiring a rack system, Town offers a bundle. It's an economical bundle that includes nine racks, a pair of rack guides that are factory installed, as well as a chip box. Each one of the units holds up to nine racks. Any of these accessories, as well as casters, can be purchased individually, but the bundle is a basic package that offers cost savings. To begin the cooking process, place the water pan on top of the lower baffle plate and fill it with water. Place the safety grate above the water pan, and this prevents fallen food from splashing the end user. Remember, it's very critical to keep water in the water pan at all times, as shown on the placard outside the door. The water pan serves two purposes. Number one, it prevents a grease fire as all the drippings are funneled into the water pan by way of the drip shields. Number two, it creates a moist and steaming environment as the unit roasts and smokes at the same time. With the thermostat turned all the way down and the brass gas valve in the off position, hold the red pilot safety button for a couple of minutes. While still holding the button, use a torch or a long lighter to ignite the pilot. Once the pilot is lit, continue to hold the button for approximately 30 seconds to heat up the thermocouple. If you release the button and the pilot goes out, light the pilot again and hold for another 30 seconds before releasing. Once the pilot is lit and is holding, you can turn the gas valve to the on position. Turn the thermostat up to ignite the main burners. To quickly shut down the main burner, simply turn the main gas valve off. The thermostat provides rough temperature control between 150 and 550 degrees. Now given the large cabinet, it's normal to find some variation throughout the unit. You may find it necessary to adjust the thermostat for desired cooking temperature or rotate the product inside. As an option, chip box is available. Now this is a rectangular metal box that's perforated 
and has metal flaps so you can easily handle it and place it into the smokehouse. If you need to smoke or cook at a low temperature, the chip box needs to be ignited in one of two ways. The first way is to fire up the unit and set the thermostat to 350 degrees with no food and get the chips ignited. Then turn the thermostat down to the desired temperature. The second way is to set the unit at the desired temperature and light the chip box externally. Ignite the chips with a lighter or a piece of charcoal, then place the chip box inside. The chip box will give 30 to 90 minutes of smoke time depending on the model size. If you prefer a longer smoke time, you might consider purchasing an extra chip box so that you could rotate them in and out. You can use large chips or small chips and you could soak the chips if you wish to create a smolder. But please don't use pellets. Lots of folks like to use pellets in the smokehouses, but it's not recommended for the town master and Chinese smoker. It is always good practice to empty and clean the water pan when done and start with fresh water for your next cook cycle. Clean and degrease the cabinet, the combustion chamber, and all utensils. Remember, grease buildup can be dangerous. It can cause a grease fire. Whether you're doing barbecue, roast, fish, fowl, jerky, cheese or sausage, chances are the town Master Range Chinese Smokehouse will be a great fit for your menu. For more information, visit our website. And if you'd like to discuss your individual needs, we'd be happy to speak to you. Just give us a call.